So the peanut industry in North Carolina has been around for a very long time. Our peanuts grown here primarily are Virginia market types. So if you were to go to a baseball game or a football game or to the grocery store in the um, in some of the sections there, you would find the in-shell peanuts, uh, bright shiny hulls. That's what we're shooting for there. So the majority of our peanuts are grown for that market. We have about 100,000 acres of peanuts in North Carolina and probably 90% uh, of those are Virginia market types and the balance would be runner market types, which are smaller. So if you shell out a peanut and eat it, it was probably grown in North Carolina. If you get some fancy gourmet peanuts uh, that have been shelled, uh, those were probably grown in North Carolina as well. So the peanuts are planted in North Carolina in May and about um, maybe about 30 days after planting, you'll start seeing some of these really beautiful yellow oranges flowers in the canopy. And one of the misconceptions I think that people often have is that the peanuts are attached to the root system. But peanuts are very unique in that they produce a flower above ground, like many, many plants do. And then there's a peg that's born out of the flower and it migrates down to the soil surface and then that peg goes into the soil surface and a, within the upper inch or so of the soil, that's where that peanut peg develops and it slowly becomes the peanut pod that we're most familiar with. We have three segments of the industry. There's the growers, the shellers, and then the processors. A farmer would get a contract from a sheller to deliver X amount of uh, tons of peanuts on their production. The next thing is the, the peanut growers usually purchase the seed from the sheller. And then when we get into the month of May, peanuts are planted usually in May across the coastal plain of North Carolina on sandy soils. As we move into July and August, uh, again, still managing pests and primarily diseases at that point in time, but also making sure that plant nutrition is in place. If we have good conditions, when we get into mid-September, that's when we would begin to dig the peanuts out of the field and we would invert the vines. And after you dig and invert, the next step is to harvest. And then those harvested peanuts go into a, usually a large tractor trailer and those are taken to a buying point. And at the buying point, um, there's a grade that's taken and then those peanuts go into a warehouse and then the shelling industry, their role is to take those peanuts and they'll try to get the the ones that have bright shiny hulls and those go into the in shell trade and then everything else gets shelled and there's a use for every single size and form of quality uh, depending on what the many products are that the industry has in place. The successes that farmers have had with peanuts comes from them being able to do the hard work and growing them but we feel like at the university we provided them the tools and so that's all the way from the basic researchers to the applied researchers, to the extension and outreach component, our cooperators in industry, and also the Department of Agriculture in North Carolina. NC State and the Extension Service have really been able to provide solutions for farmers to certainly be more efficient at what they do. They can stay in business longer in that sense. The other thing that that has done is it's been able to to help them provide a high quality, nutritious food source for a lot of people. And we know that, especially when we have downturns in the economy, one thing that really is important that fills the gap for a lot of things are peanuts and peanut product. And what we wanna do at the university is make sure that the farmers can deliver the, the highest quality product for the sheller and the manufacturer or the processor on that end. And when the farmer delivers a high quality product, it's usually a high yielding product in most cases. So that, that helps them a lot. And that also helps the sheller and the processor provide something that's of high quality and safe and nutritious for the consumer. We want people at the end of the day to have a high quality product that they can use for the in-shell trade or that can be shelled and made into peanut butter or made into candies or confectionaries, um, any number of products. It's a great crop in that sense, agronomically, but also when you look at the, the protein and the value of those peanuts for consumers, whether it's a 
uh, at a ball game eating in shells or at a Christmas party having those um, fancy cocktail peanuts or gourmet peanuts but also the people that really need those peanuts on a daily basis for for protein and that could be a, a kid here in the US that needs a, a peanut butter and jelly sandwich to get them through the day and and but also around the world where where people need peanuts to give them enough calories to survive that day and peanuts serve that so that's a it's been a great industry to work in.